Hello guys, how are you? I just came here to share with you the weekly devotional that I write myself with the help of my friend. Um, and this week I would like to talk about the, um, the healing power of Jesus Christ hidden in the Old Testament and reveal it in the New Testament. So it's a new perspective of the power of Jesus Christ to heal the sick. So um, I just wrote it and I just make them like a paper. So and then later I will distribute to the community that I am living in. I'm evangelist and um, I would like to share the word of God with people to give them the perspective and revelation of the word of God. And hopefully that this help you to store up uh, the faith to store up the gift of the God inside of you to give you encouragement the faith that you uh, carry on uh, the, the the life with faith the life with the gospel of Jesus Christ the life with the torch and the light that uh, will be shining for the other people to find uh, the salvation in Jesus Christ so Jesus heals the sick with compassionate heart that's the the subject of the uh, this um, uh, devotional we have all felt sick down in our moods and can appreciate a visit from a friend sometimes uh, or a thoughtful message sometimes very much helpful for those people who are in sick or alone in home Christ commanded us to love our neighbor care for the sick feed the hungry and clothe the naked this commandment help us to see the true nature of God because it's a full of love full of compassion and very much um, help for those people who are broken in their heart or in their spirit that's the character of God the God that we know in Jesus Christ we will find the f uh, ourselves in a position um, um, you know the Christ that we know that the Christ has identified himself as a poor people the people that they are sinners the poor people the people that they are in the prison or lonely and that's why in the Bible says that um, uh, he commanded us in book, book of Matthew if you read it that the, he says that um, we as a believer we need to take care of the poor people take care of the people who are sick praying for them um, anoint them with the anointing oil and even it's so, so much important that we give the clothes to those people who are in need or naked and we go and uh, visit the people that they are in the prison to be thoughtful about the people that they are in need so it's a very important Jesus Christ um, um, emphasize in the Bible that I have come to you in that form but you have not recognized me you have not known me so that's why he rejected us also reject us also if we do not care about the commandment that Jesus Christ has given to the church of Jesus Christ and to the believer to to be careful about the need of those people who are in need and that's why in the book of Matthew 25 it says that I tell you whenever whenever you did this for one of the least important of these members of my family which is the poor people people who are in prison people who are sick people who are lonely and broken hearted um, you did it for me so it's very important that when we come to the Christ when we have a Christ in our heart the compassionate heart of Jesus Christ also is in us he has transformed this compassionate heart to our heart to our heart to our mind to our spirit to our soul because we are no longer in people that in the darkness we are no longer people who are in a um, past life uh, being um, in 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 uh, old conversation that was uh, corrupted being uh, subjected to the things of this world that they were careless um, uh, but we are being renewed in Christ Jesus and we have to transform and shine that light through us to other people so with hope we 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 keep by faith this power in us that we carry on this this love also Hope is assurance of the fulfillment of the God promise. We will not be able to see it right away, but that is the point our heart moves with hope. Faith brings confidence in our heart. With faith and hope, even the impossible can 
see possible with God all things is possible because the when the Christ is living inside of us is it is it's 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 a bigger than the things of this world Christ has says that be not afraid and um, um, do not be dismayed because I have overcome them so when Christ died on the cross for us uh, for the, all the human race, for the forgiveness of the saints, he has died on the cross and he won the victory over the death, over the Satan's accusations because he was the perfection of the law, perfection. He, he never sinned and he has identified himself with us that we are a sinner, that with his grace on behalf of, he, on behalf of us, he has go, gone to the throne of God to, to present us because he is a, a priest forever. He is not the priest of, of, of the um, uh, temporary time or, or with the limitation but he is a priest with the power of unlimited by the Holy Spirit so we have a hope in a very great God a good God that his right hand in the form of Jesus Christ was born through the Virgin Mary uh, has come to, to ident identify himself with the sinner dying on the cross and shed his blood that this blood to be a sacrifice, atonement for our sins, and to sit at the right hand of the Father, to be a priest for us forever. And we have a salvation in Him, in His righteousness, not by our law or Sharia, but by His grace and His mercy. In His grace and mercy, we find our path to, to salvation. Sickness is an ob ob obstacle or a position that often seems impossible. And that's what we feel sometimes in the sicknesses. But it's sweeping the globe. Sometimes it's a, it's, we feel really uh, we cannot just overcome that and now in the pandemic which is a global it's very very difficult to 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 overcome this problem uh, and we cannot forget that the miracles and faith can faith that we have can sustain our path but the faith um bring us to the salvation faith in jesus christ bring the promise that he had he he made for the believer to come true not only to, for for a believer but non-believer if they believe that jesus can heal they shall be healed jesus is a healer he is a he's a mighty god he 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 everything has been created through him the word of god has created everything we are the created being from god and he is our healer he knows how touch how he can heal um, and that's very good that we believe in him that his promises is yea and amen so um, uh, that's very important the Bible says that the um, uh, Christ is the healer of a man his mercy reached to all his love extended past the border he, he, there is no one that is watching this video that says that the healing of the power of the Christ is not for me yes it is for you God loves you and he wants to heal you and touch you in the area that you need it. And so his love extends uh, all the past all the borders, condition, any of the boundaries man has set up. His reach, his reach is infinite. Healing the sick, afflicted was one of the important parts of the Christ ministry on earth. So, you know, in the book of James it's written, Is any sick among you? Let him call for the elders of the church and let them pray over him, anointing him with the oil in the name of the Lord. So when you go to the church, you ask for the priest or the pastors or the elders to to anoint you with the, uh, with, with, with the cross uh, or, or with the and, um, oil. <laughs> And that's that's the um, the oil itself is not the Holy Spirit, but the, this is a contact point. It's a faith in that anointing because it was a tradition of the Christianity that the, this oil will transform the power of the Holy Spirit to uh, to you if you're feeling sick. You know, in the Old Testament, it's written when the the leprosy was a sickness. It's a very difficult sickness, and the people that they were leper, they were being cast out of the city. They were completely isolated and completely lonely. And somehow, it's talking about some sick people that we have today in elderly houses, in the hospitals, 
with the pandemic people they get isolated very much from each other and they get afraid from each other and if someone has a viruses or or someone has a difficult sickness or some people they get afraid of it and they do not want to touch that so in in the book of um, um, number um, it's written that the lepers they were put outside of the camp and that the people uh, um, uh, do not be um, um, uh, touched by them um, unless um, they get um, uh, sick to or they get um, um, polluted so I want to read for you that Bible verse that you says that that was the, the law that the sick people get is a in the book of number uh, verse 5 uh, cha so, sorry chapter 5 verse 2 is written command the Israelites to send away from the camp anyone who has a defiling skin diseases or a discharge of any kind or who is ceremonially unclean because of the dead body if anyone touched the dead body they will be uh, unclean so they should be outside of the camp of the Israelites send away all male and female alike send them outside of the camp so they will not defile their camp where I will dwell among them so I would like to tell you that the, it was a ritual that the uh, priest must be uh, performing to heal the sick I mean, the leper outside of the camp and this ritual was resembling to the power of the Christ the symbol of the cross blood and and the resurrection of him so I would like to read to you to to give you that perspective that the even the Christ in time of the law which was his mystery was hidden in the law and that's uh, when the priest went to there he must take a, a wooden a cedar a, a cedar wood a scarlet two birds one to be um, one to be sacrificed I mean, sh to shed his blood on the riverside the other one should be freed re uh, which resembles the resurrection of Jesus Christ the bird that was died it's a crucifixion of Jesus Christ that his blood to be shed seven times on the leper the wooden cedar is a cross of Jesus Christ and the scarlet is the robe of righteousness the grace of Jesus Christ when when the divinity the um, has come to the man when God has come to the man in form of Jesus Christ uh, was born through the Virgin Mary he shed his blood and the the, the you know the combinations of the the blue and um, and the combination of the the color of the blue and the red will be a scarlet and the scarlet was uh, used in the Old Testament in the temple in tabernacle to to cover the tabernacle which is uh, resembling of the of, of the Christ it's a hidden mystery of the Christ in the Old Testament it revealed the same same thing so um, And the, the priest indeed must go and to shed the blood of one of the birds and uh, combine or fasten the scarlet and the birds and the, the cedars and seven times sprinkle it with the hyssop. And the hyssop is a Holy Spirit resembling to the Holy Spirit that this flower sprinkling the blood, I mean to execute the power of the cleansing from the Most High, from Divine God to, to the sick so this thing was hidden in the old testament and they were healing the sick but that not was so nice i mean they were not treated so well they were outcast and and priests must go there and perform that ritual that these people to get sick but when we come to the new testament if you see um jesus heals the sick or leper with compassionate heart for example um When Jesus came down from the mountainside, large crowd following him, a man with the leprosy came and knelt before him and said, Lord, if you are willing, you can make me clean. So that's what the leper just came to the Lord Jesus Christ himself. And Jesus reached out his hand and touched the man. And I'm willing, he said, be clean. Immediately he was cleansed of his leprosy. Immediately. I mean, the touching hand of the Jesus Christ, the power of the Holy Spirit, which is the healing power, was transformed to that, and he healed that sick person. That's a great miracle because people put their faith 
on Jesus Christ when they saw the miracle was performed. That was Jesus Christ himself was doing this ministry. This healing power was manifested because of God showing his glory to his children in Israel. And, and the church was about to be born through that faith, through that actions, through the ministry of the Holy Spirit. So uh, our faith to Jesus Christ by healing power of him can heal us, can connect us from this isolation to the, um, the place of safety, can cover us um, uh, from the plug, from, from pestilence, his blood and the Christ Jesus is compassionate yet we do not see him by his by his Holy Spirit he is able to cover to touch to 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 heal so I would like to come to conclusions with a prayer and if you have not been given your life to Jesus Christ I would like to give you this opportunity to repeat this prayer after me and Jesus is a healer and Jesus is your Savior our Father in heaven, I come before you. I'm a sinner. Please forgive me and come to my heart with your Holy Spirit. Wash me and cleanse me with your precious blood so I believe that you are the Son of God, died on the cross for me and raised from the dead and seated at the right hand of the Father to be a priest and king forever. Make me whole. Restore my life in righteous lives. So in Jesus Christ's name, I... Um, come to end I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ that you be healed that you be touched by the hands of the mighty God God fill you with his with his uh, power and, and and you come alive being whole from whatever situation that you are writing there is a time of difficulty sometimes we are all in it and we know that there is a positions there is a darknesses and Jesus Christ is our light and that's very important that we stay cling into that uh, promise to this light to the king of the kings to Jesus Christ amen god bless you